10, 11, and 12, they're having you graph a square root function. And on your square root function, because the square root of a negative is undefined, what they're going to have you do is start by finding what you should use in your table for your x values by setting whatever's under the square root equal to the first four perfect squares. In this case, we just have an x under the square root. So we're going to say, okay, x has to equal 0, which is my first perfect square, 1, 4, which is 2 squared, and 9. Didn't have to do much to solve those because I only had just the plain x under there. So when I make my table, I'm going to use 0, 1, 4, and 9 so that my values all come out nice because I can do the square root of all of those numbers. So square root of 0 is 0, 0 plus 5 gives me 5. Square root of 1 is 1, 1 plus 5 is 6. Square root of 4 is 2, 2 plus 5 is 7. Square root of 9 is 3, 3 plus 5 is 8. And so I'm going to plot those points. 0 over up 5, 1 over up 6, 4 over up 7, and 9 over up 8. I'll go straight here. And so what my graph is going to look like is this is going to be my end point. It's going to go the, through these points and it's going to shoot off somewhere in that direction. You'll just have to hit the graph button and it'll connect your dots for you. But you have to do the end point and then three additional points. So when you have the next one, if I can find it here, they're going to have you do this. The x minus 1 is all under the square root. So we want x minus 1 to equal 0, x minus 1 to equal 1, x minus 1 to equal 4, and x minus 1 to equal 9, because we want perfect squares ending up under our square roots. So if we solve each of those, we're just going to add 1. So we want x to equal 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 4 plus 1 is 5, and 9 plus 1 is 10. And those are the values we're going to put in for x on our table. And then they should come out to nice perfect squares. So plugging them in, 1 minus 1 is 0, square root of 0, still 0. 2 minus 1 is 1, square root of 1, 1. 5 minus 1 is 4, square root of 4. And 10 minus 1 is 9, square root of 9, 3. So every value came out to a nice whole number answer that you could easily plot. So 1 over up 0, 2 over up 1, 5 over up 2, and 10 over is up 3. And my graph looks something sort of like that. So number 12, same kind of thing. I've got the x plus 2 underneath the square root. So we want x plus 2 to equal 0, to equal 1, to equal 4, and to equal 9, so that we can do the square roots. So on each of those, we're going to minus our 2. And so in our table, what value should we use for x? Solve each of those, you're going to get negative two, then negative, negative one, then two. two, and seven. So those are the four values we want to plug in for x.
should work out to nice perfect squares. So if we put negative 2 in for x, y is going to be 0, because we get the square root of 0. If we put the negative 1 in for x, we're going to get 1, because we get the square root of 1. If we put a positive 2 in for x, we would get the square root of 4, which is 2. And if we put the 7 in for x, Seven plus two would be nine, so the square root of nine is going to be three, right? So we get nice perfect squares underneath there by setting them equal to the perfect squares and then doing our adding or subtracting, and then we can plot our points. So negative two is up zero, negative one is up one, two is up two, and seven is up three. And our square root function looks something sort of like that.